Being imprisoned must be one of the worst things you could experience in your lifetime, but not for the inmates of these luxurious prisons we're going to show you in this video. Welcome to Luxury Wire, where people get fresh, luxurious videos. Make sure to stay tuned because these prisons will surely blow your mind. At number one, we have the Halton Prison. This is the ideal place for you if you've ever been torn between choosing a life of crime or emerging as a next major musical star. This prison, which is situated in Norway, is the only one in the entire world to have a completely functional recording studio. Even the inmates can take music lessons too. Additionally, inmates can learn new talents by enrolling in the available cooking and woodworking schools while they aren't making their musical debuts. Rock climbing, reading in the large library, playing soccer, and running on the jogging trails are some of the many activities available at the Halton Prison. Prisoners are free to return to their respective cells after participating in the activities. Each one has a mini fridge, flat screen television, a bathroom, and private shower. At number two is Bastoy Island. This prison with minimal security designation, which houses just approximately 100 inmates and is situated in Bastoy Island in Oslofjord, is more like an all-expenses paid getaway than a jail. And breaking a few regulations is the only cost you'll incur. Rather than being housed in cells, the inmates can enjoy activities like sunbathing, fishing, horseback riding, tennis, saunas, and helping out on the prison farm, of course. Bastoy Prison, however, was formerly renowned for being a cruel juvenile imprisonment facility before becoming a dream prison. In reality, a riot broke out in 1915 to protest the unfavorable living and working conditions there. The riots got so out of hand quickly that the Norwegian government was compelled to send their troops to the prison to assist the prison guards in calming down the inmates. Unfortunately, the riot did little to nothing to improve the living and working circumstances, and the jail continued to function until it was finally closed in 1970. It was then reopened in 1982 as the modern luxurious prison that we are familiar with today. Number 3. Prison Quincheng the entrance requirements to the Quincheng Prison in Beijing, China are a little bit more stringent. Only high-profile individuals or deceased political figures are housed in this institution. Originally intended to house war criminals, the 1958-built jail underwent a complete renovation in the middle of the 1990s to transform it into an opulent prison where senior officials could be kept who were there then rare but are now prevalent. Large cells with personal flat-screen televisions, writing desks, sofas, personal toilets, showers, and washing machines are provided for each prisoner here. Prisoners are also fed customized meals based on their age and the seriousness of their crime, which can range from simple rice and vegetables to luxurious meals. Inmates are not obliged to wear uniforms outside of their cells and are free to play games, read, exercise, and watch television. Number 4. Her Majesty's Prison Addywell her Majesty's Prison Addywell, a privately held prison in southern Scotland, has been converted to a learning facility. Despite the fact that many jails provide programs and workshops to help inmates develop employment skills, none are as committed as Her Majesty's Prison Addywell. Here, offenders receive 40 hours a week of instruction in classes that are specifically designed to teach them employment skills and prepare them for a smoother transition back into society. Each prisoner has some discretion over which classes they choose to take too. It's almost like going back to school, which is actually not that horrible when you think about it in a prison. Number 5. Justice Center There is a small possibility that you'll serve your sentence in the aptly called Justice Center in Leoben, Austria, if you are ever arrested committing a non-violent offense. This location will resemble a contemporary university than a prison from the outside. Each prisoner is given a cell that has a writing desk, a flat-screen television, a private bathroom, and even a kitchenette. Inmates have access to a wide range of leisure activities outside of their cells, including weight training, basketball, reading, table tennis, and of course, internet time. However, this prison can only house 205 people, thus only a select few are able to experience it while the majority are kept in an ordinary prison. Number 6. Prison Aranjuez the Aranjuez prison in Spain is the ideal place to raise a family given that one or more of the parents is currently serving a sentence there, even though having a toddler behind bars may not seem like the finest decision. 
the Aranjuez prison opted to enable families to live with their detained relatives rather than breaking apart families. With a daycare center, a play area, and even a child psychologist, the institution is equipped to care for kids. Prisoners claim that they have been well taken care of inside the family-oriented prison and say that it is indeed a big help for them. However, every roll call in the prison requires the presence of the entire family. Number 7. The Party Prison Armed guards and barbed wire walls around the fun are the only things protecting the San Antonio prison, often known as the party prison, from turning into just another wild rave party. The amenities that make this prison so great include swimming pools, barbecue pits, live music, and even marijuana. Some inmates are reluctant to depart. Families and visitors staying the night are strongly urged to do so. We're not entirely convinced these prisoners are learning their lesson as much fun as it may appear. At number 8 is the Santa Ana prison. It is a pay-to-stay prison, meaning that as long as you have the money, you can stay in the opulent Santa Ana jail rather than a standard less opulent county jail. The prison is located in California, the United States, but the price is steep. Inmates are required to pay a $140 administrative fee on their first day and an additional $110 on each subsequent day. That comes to almost about $44,000 each year. The staff refers to inmates as guests and they are provided with a single private cell with conventional doors. They are not compelled to wear prison uniforms and instead they are free to wear their usual clothes and may bring their own cell phones or laptops. Unfortunately, there is no Wi-Fi in there. At number 9 is the Onomichi Prison. Over the past few years, geriatric criminal activity in Japan has increased to the point where there is now a separate prison for people over the age of 70, known as Onomichi Prison. The majority of the prisoners in this facility were just charged with minor infractions like drug possession or stealing. Nearly all of the elderly convicts at Onomichi have their own cells with personalized records that list their dietary restrictions and daily medicine needs to make sure they are receiving the attention they deserve. A 3.6 meter long connected room with a tatami mat floor, a TV, a desk, a sink, and a toilet is also included. When they aren't in their cells, their personal things, which usually consist of books or comics, are kept inside a sealed suitcase. The Onomichi prison is the first of numerous senior-focused prisons that Japan aims to build. I suppose you're pretty surprised as to how opulent these prisons are, but can you guess the last prison on this list? Let us know in the comments below, and before we hop into the last one, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button for more videos. Alright, here we go at number 10, located in Wandsworth, England, Her Majesty's Prison Wandsworth has a variety of amenities to help inmates pass the time while serving their sentences, including two gyms, a sports hall, a chapel that can accommodate up to 10 different religions, and numerous educational and training programs designed to ease the transition back into society and the workforce. Even with the assistance of the jail staff, inmates came together to create the award-winning radio show, Radio Wano. In fact, Her Majesty's Prison offers a radio-producing education program. And that is pretty much it for today's luxurious video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos just like how this one dropped your jaws. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at our next one.